Johannes Gutenberg German inventor Johannes Gutenberg developed a method of movable type and used it to create one of the Western world's first major printed books, the 42-line Bible. Who was Johannes Gutenberg? Johannes Gutenberg started experimenting with printing by 1438. In 1450, Gutenberg obtained backing from the financier, Johann Fust, whose impatience and other factors led to Gutenberg's loss of his establishment to Fust several years later. Gutenberg's masterpiece, and the first book ever printed in Europe from movable type, is the 42-line Bible, completed no later than 1455. Early Life Born into a modest merchant family in Mainz, Germany, circa 1395, Johannes Gutenberg's work as an inventor and printer would have a major impact on communication and learning worldwide. He was the third son of Frail Zoom Gensfleisch and his second wife, Else Weirich Zoom Gutenberg, whose maiden name Johann later adopted. There is little recorded history of this early life, but local records indicate he apprenticed as a goldsmith while living in Mainz. Experiments in Printing When a craftsman revolt erupted in Mainz against the noble class in 1428, Gutenberg's family was exiled and settled in what is now Strasbourg, France, where his experiments with printing began. Already familiar with bookmaking, Gutenberg perfected small metal type. Infinitely more practical than carving complete wood blocks for printing, each type was a single letter or character. Movable type had been used in Asia hundreds of years earlier, but Gutenberg's innovation was developing a casting system and metal alloys which made production easier. Financial Trouble In 1448, Gutenberg moved back to Mainz and by 1450 was operating a print shop. He had borrowed 800 guilders from local financier Johann Fust to purchase specific tools and equipment needed for his unique typography method. By December 1452, Gutenberg was heavily in debt and unable to pay Fust's loan. A new agreement was drawn up making Fust a partner in Gutenberg's business. However, by 1455, Gutenberg was still unable to pay the debt and Fust sued. Court records are sketchy, but scholars believe that while the trial was going on, Gutenberg was able to print his masterpiece, the 42-line Bible, now known as the Gutenberg Bible. Fust eventually won the suit and took over most of Gutenberg's printing business, including the production of his Bibles. Peter Schuffer, Fust's son-in-law, who had testified against him during the trial, now joined Fust as a partner in the business. In addition to the Bible, Gutenberg's other major achievement was the Psalter, the Book of Psalms, which was also given to Fust as part of the settlement. The Psalter is decorated with hundreds of two-color initial letters and delicate scroll borders using an ingenious method based on multiple inking on a single metal block. The Psalter was the first book to display the name of its printers, Fust and Schaffer, but historians believe that neither could have developed such a sophisticated method alone and that Gutenberg must have been working for the pair in the business he once owned. Later Life and Death In 1462, Mainz was sacked by Archbishop Adolf II in a dispute over control of the city and Fust and Gutenberg's printing businesses were destroyed. Many of the city's typographers fled to other parts of Germany and Europe, taking their techniques and technology with them. Gutenberg remained in Mainz, but once again fell into poverty. The Archbishop granted him the title of Hoffmann, Gentleman of the Court, in 1465, which provided a salary and privileges for services rendered. Gutenberg carried on his printing activities for several more years, but little evidence exists of what he actually published because he didn't put his name on any of his printings. <laughs>